Good morning, boys and girls. Today you are going to practice using this website here, which says Prairie Hill Library right at the front. This website will help us to find any book in the library. You're going to first click on Catalog right up here at the top, and this will allow us to search for books. So I'm going to do a search for turtles because I want to read a book about a turtle. I'm going to then press this button here for keyword. And this is going to tell me all the books that we have in the library about turtles. The first thing that I want you to notice is right here where it says titles 1 through 25 of 36. That means that we have 36 books in our library that are about turtles. The 1 through 25 part means that on this page, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, there would be 25 if we counted books about turtles on this page. I would need to get to the next page, right down here at page 2, in order to see the rest of them, to see 25 through 36. Okay, I'm going to go back to page 1 here. And I want to look here at this book. So this book, I can see that the title of this book is called A Turtle's Life. The next thing I want you to notice, and this is the most important part, this part right here that says call number. This little symbol here means number. This line tells me where the book is at in the library. So I see the first part of this is that it's in nonfiction. Then I see that it's in animals, reptiles. Okay, so if I wanted to find this book, I'm going to go to the nonfiction side of the library, and then I'm going to find the shelf that has animals and reptiles labeled on it. The next one down here, if I look at Turtles Penguin Day, I can see the call number on this one is a little bit different. It's not in nonfiction, this time it's in picture books and then it's in animals, and then it's G-O-R. Okay, we'll practice learning how to find those books another day. I also want you to notice that we can see, I can see Terrific Turtles here. I can see it's call number, non-fic, animals, pets. And then over here, I can see the author's name. So the author who wrote this book called Terrific Turtles that person's name is Anders Hansen. It always tells the last name first and then the first name. Anders Hansen. The other cool thing that we can see here is that this book is part of a series. It's part of a series called Perfect Pets. Not every book is part of a series. If we go back up here to Turtles Penguin Day, we have the same thing, call number, author, but there's not anything that says series, okay? This one down here tells us it's part of the series of perfect pets. A series means that there's more books, and we can see from the title that it's probably other books about having pets, but probably not about turtles. I'm going to go ahead and start a new search here. So to start a new search, I'm going to click on Catalog here or Library Search here. Don't use the back arrow on your computer because it will not work. You have to click either Library Search or catalog. This time I'm going to think I want to find a specific book that I've been reading and I know that I want to find a book called Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. When I type in Sylvester and the Magic Pebble I know that that's the title of a book so I'm going to press the word title. And here it tells me, here's the title, Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. Its call number tells me where that book is at. And I can see that it's not part of a series. Okay, so when you know the specific title of a book, you'll click on the title button instead of keyword. One more search here. I'm going to show you how to search by an author's name. So if I know that I want to find a book that is by Shel Silverstein, I'm going to type in Shel Silverstein. And instead of pressing keyword or title, this time I know that he is an author. So I'm going to click on the author button. And this will tell me there are six books 
written by Shel Silverstein. Six books. And here they are. I can see the title, the call number, the author, and the other information. I can see that none of these are part of a series. Over here, where it says zero out of one, one available means that there's one book of A Light in the Attic in the library. Zero of one means that that is checked out. So if you see zero of one, that means that all of those are checked out. If you see one of one, that means that you could go over to the picture book section and into the favorites and you could find this book. It is still here. Zero means it's checked out. One would mean that it's here. What you are going to do today is you're going to use the iPad to get to some questions. Here's what the questions look like. What is the call number for the book called Argus? So you will use the iPad or the computer to search for the book Argus and then you'll pick the best answer. There's one right answer. You'll pick that answer on the iPad. You're going to use a scan code on the iPad to do this. When you look at the iPad, there are three apps on here. There's the Color Mix, the Destiny Quest, and the QR Reader. The QR reader is what you're going to open. If the practice quiz is up already, there's an X in the top corner. If you press that X, it should go back to a screen like this. This, if you can see it, I know it's kind of small, there are some white squares there. This code is what you're going to put in front of your iPad, and it should scan this code. Use the camera. It's got to be inside those white dots. And when you scan it, it should take your iPad to the place where there are questions. And you'll be able to see the questions. You'll use your computer. One partner will use the computer. One will use the iPad to answer these questions. At the very bottom of these, there's a blue button that says Submit. You have to press that when you get done. And that will send your answers to my computer so that I can see your answers. Even if you don't get finished, you still need to press that submit button so that I can see how far you got. Good luck. Have fun.